Hello everyone and welcome to Cory Loses. So I've been getting a few questions ever since the workshop came out for Empire at War about that as well as some of the multiplayer issues that people have been having with Empire at War, especially with mods. So I want to address an easier way for people to launch mods from the Steam Workshop, uh, including a fix for people who, when they try to use the in-game mods menu, the game will just crash or it'll seem like it's crashing, then the mod never launches up. So first, uh, I'll show you how to subscribe to mods and what that actually means. We're going to go to the demo for Throne's Revenge here. As you can see, we're in the library. We have Empire War selected. We're going to the demo. And all you have to do is click subscribe. What this does is it adds it to your subscriptions, uh, which means that whenever we push an update for the mod, it'll automatically download for you. So you don't have to re-download the mod ever. As long as you're subscribed, you're going to be getting updates. This does not activate the mod, though. So the first thing you have to do is make sure it's finished downloading. You'll see this tab down here. Uh, it's downloading uh, some of the, it's downloading the demo right now. So this will finish, it'll say it's unpacking, and then after that you'll be ready to go. But I already have the 2.1 version installed, so we're gonna use that. And everything I'm showing you here, while I am using Throne's Revenge, it'll work for whatever mod you have. Uh, but the easier way to launch games, and the more convenient way if you only wanna play a specific mod at a time, is if you click on your Empire at War here in your properties, then you'll see the set launch options button. You're gonna click that, we're gonna need this. So I'm gonna leave that for now, but we have the full launch options on both of our mod pages that you need. So you can just, for our mods, you can just copy it from there. You can go to your library, right click, properties, set launch options, paste it in. And then whenever you launch the mod, it'll work. Uh, but there's a way to make this work for any other mod as well. So a lot of the other mods are telling you to copy the folder out of your, out of this, like copy this folder, put it in mods, rename it. You don't need to do that. And if you do that, it also won't update properly. Uh, so this is a far more convenient way to do it. You don't need to modify any folders. If you look back in our launch options here from what I posted, I'm going to, you can remove this part. This is going to be what it is for every mod. You're going to need this part and then you're adding the ID tag after that. And I'll show you how to get that as well. So, and if you look in the description, this part of it will be there uh, of the video right now. You can just copy and paste it from there. It'll be there. Uh, so you just copy this from the video description, paste it into your lot of mod op eh, launch options. And then for any workshop item you want, you just have to go and get the ID tag for it. So like I said, ours we paste right here. Copy, if you're on the workshop page, copy page URL. And then I'm just gonna get notepad up. So once you have the page URL like that, all you have to do, copy page URL. You have notepad, paste it in. And then you'll see this right here. It'll put the ID tag of the page and then it'll have this number at the end. This is the ID tag of the mod. This is what you want. You can just copy that. We don't need that anymore. Go back to our library, properties, set launch options, and it goes right after the thing. So that's what it is for 2.1. If we look at the demo here, uh, we can do it the same way. So copy page URL. Every mod will have this. So now we just copy this. If we want to run the demo, library, properties, set more launch options. There we go. And that'll launch the demo. So what I'm hoping is that modders will start putting the, I, uh, I don't think a lot of them know that that works, but I'm hoping other mods will start putting it directly into the thing like we did here, because uh, it is much easier, but that is how you do that. 